Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use word art in Word. So I've just got a basic document up here. I'm just going to make this page a little bit bigger. And if you go up to the insert tab here, and then all the way along to this word art icon here, click on the drop down, and you can select from any of these different options. Now, although these options are here, even if I was to select the basic option, I can actually create any number of these because it's just extremely versatile and you can add all of these outlines and shadows even if you select the very basic one. So let's just select this one here and you'll get this text box with your text inside. Now the great thing about using word art is that I can just expand this box out like this by just pulling out the corner square and I don't have to select any of the text. If I want to adjust it, let's go to the Home tab here. Let's say I want to change the font. If I click on the fonts here and just simply change the font, it will change the whole text within that text box. I don't have to highlight a particular word or all of the text inside. I can just simply click on it. Now, you can go inside and just select a certain word and change it if you want to. So if I select this word, and change it back to the original text, you can see I can do that as well. So that's the first thing that you can do, changing your font. Up here, there's also a number of additional things that you can do. You can increase or decrease the size. You can also do that really quickly by using this increase and decrease font size options. So if I want to increase the size, Let's just come out of that. If that happens, it's because you've, your cursor's inside the text box. Just click away from it and then just select the entire box and you can make your adjustments. So here you can just simply keep clicking and it will increase and decrease the size of your text depending on what you want. Then you can go along here if you want to put everything to uppercase, then you can just select uppercase or you can just select sentence case or any of those other options. Also, we've got the regular adjustments here, like the bold, the underline, and the italics that you can use. So first of all, before we go to this section here, you can change the color of your font by simply just using this color option here. Now, if you can't find the color of your choice, then just simply click on more colors. Now, this will bring up your color wheel. And again, this is really versatile. So you can grab this little circle here with a cross in it, move it around the color wheel, and the color that you've selected will appear in this square. You can also move this slider to make the colors brighter or darker. Or you have several options along the top here and you can select from those as well. And again, they're fairly self-explanatory. You can just go along and select any one of these colors. So let's go back to the color wheel. Let's just select a nice teal color. Let's choose it to be slightly darker and click OK. Now, you can use all of these different options on here and click through these menus here. But often, if, say for example, I want to go down and add shadow options here, it will bring up a menu over this side. So I'm going to show you how to access that menu because actually it stays up and it's far easier to use. If you select your text, make sure you've got the borderline exposed. Go to Shape Format and then go along here to format pane. You can also access it by double clicking on the text itself and this menu will appear on the right. So when this menu appears, you need to be very clear about these two tabs at the top. The shape options refers to the actual shape, so this rectangle here. And the text options refer to the actual text inside the box. So if we just want to format the text, then we need to be clear that we're on the text options and that will bring up these three A's at the top in a slightly different format. So the first one is referring to your text fill. So this is the color that we've just chosen. So there's the color there. Click on the drop down, and again, you can access all of your colors. You can also add a gradient. So if you wanted a gradient on your text, you can see here my preset, which is this blue color here and fading to white. You can see how that affects my text. Gradients are really easy to use. You just select one of these markers. You can get rid of them by selecting it. You can see it's selected here by the orange outline. Just click the minus sign there. You can do the same with this one. 
And very basically, these gradients work by selecting a different color for each of these markers. So let's just select a red, and then for this one, let's select a yellow. And then you can clearly see how the text has been affected. And then you can just move these markers if you want more red and less yellow, and vice versa. So that's how gradients work. Let's go back to solid fill. And then text outline is where you can basically put an outline around your text. So I've just selected solid line and it's currently set to white. And you can see the way that's affected that text. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. So, so you can see the way that that's affected the text. I can also change that to red, make it a little bit more obvious, yellow, and you can see how I can adjust that. So if you think for this one, we might choose a slightly faded yellow. You can also adjust the width of that outline using these up or down arrows here. And you can see as I increase the width of that line, it gets thicker. I can also change the line if I want to. I can have a double line. If I increase the size, you can see that double line there. Or I can have a line with three. Let's just go to a simple line. And also you can change the sort of line you want, whether it's a dotted line or a dashed line. So once again, that's all really versatile. If you don't want the outline, then just simply select no line and your line will vanish. I'm just going to select a white and just decrease that down to 0.75. Now, once you've selected your outline and your text color, you can go along to the next option here, and this is your text effects. So here are your shadows and this one's currently set to black. If I change the color, you can see how it's affected. There we go. You can't see these very well, so let's choose a black again. There we go. And the versatility of this shadow is that you really can play around with these sliders, so you can make it more or less transparent. You can increase and decrease the size of that shadow. You can make it blurry or quite sharp. It's going to move that where it was. And the angle, you can change effectively where the light comes from. And you can also change the distance of that shadow. We've also got loads of different options here with reflections. So if you want to add a reflection, you can do so. Let's just pull this down so you can see it all. And again, completely customizable by using these sliders. So that reflection is more or less transparent. The size of it again, the blur, you can make it very blurry or quite sharp. And of course, the distance from the original text. So let's just switch that off so we don't confuse ourselves. You've also got glow, which is where you can pop a color around the edge. Let's just take that shadow off. So the glow is like a light glow around the outside of the letters. Again, you can change the colors by using this color menu. And again, you can adjust the size and the transparency. Let's just take that one off. Then you've got soft edges, which generally work with shapes, 3D format. These can be quite fun. They make it look a little bit more 3D depending on what you want to select. And you can have fun playing through those as well. They've also got the angle and the material, so you've got some slightly metallic effects down here. They're not necessarily showing up very well here, but you can select and play around with these. And then finally, you've got 3D rotation, and this is the angle at which your text will appear. So you can, again, just really play around with these want it lying on the floor, and then you can adjust everything using these options as well. Then if we go onto the text box itself, this is generally the shape options. This is where you can change the alignment of your text. So you can pop the text in the middle of the box or the bottom of the box. And this generally is where you'd actually use the outside of the box as well. So if for example, you actually wanted to use the color of the box. So if I go to shape options and I fill the box, you can see here that I've 
filled that box with a color. Let's go to more colors and let's just lighten that color. There we go. So if you wanted to actually use this box, when you go to this element here, you can actually change where that text will appear to suit your needs. And then obviously we've got text rotation. We can rotate the text round if you want it vertically. You can also adjust your margin. So if I was to take this box and resize it to my text, you can see that my edges will get very close to my text before the text actually moves. So this text is quite close to the edge of the box. So if I decided I wanted a greater margin, if I just click here, this is the left margin, you can see how that text moves. So let's reset that to 0.25. And again, the bottom margin, so if you want to increase the space here between the text and the outside of the box, just increase using the increase arrow here and you can see how that margin will adjust. Obviously you'll have to adjust the box, but I'm not sure that has much of a place because you can just simply move the box and resize it anyway. So that's how we use those elements. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make a few bits of text and speed the video up just so that you can see what sort of things that can be created using word art. So there's just a few ideas about how you can use word art. As you can see, it's incredibly flexible, really versatile, and hopefully you can have a lot of fun with that and find the kind of design that you're looking for. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.